Commas seem like a harmless punctuation mark. They're barely bigger than a period, and people throw them in their writing all the time because there's no incorrect way to use them, right? Wrong. There's a grammatical comma mistake running rampant in grammar land that needs to be brought under control. It's a comma splice, and while it can be a common error if you aren't careful, it's easy to avoid if you understand how commas work. Comma splices occur when you incorrectly use a comma to connect two independent clauses. This is a no-no. Commas work really well when you use them to separate items in a series, or pairing them up with their good friend the conjunction, but we'll get back to that in a minute. What's important to remember is that commas can't support two independent clauses on their own. They're just too little. They either need the help of their buddy the conjunction, or their big siblings, the semicolon and the period, to do the work for them instead. Let's explain all of this with an example. Check out this sentence. The president loves ice cream sundaes. His favorite toppings are hot fudge and bananas. This is a perfect example of a comma splice. The two parts of the sentence are independent clauses because they make sense as individual sentences. The poor little comma can't handle both of them on its own. It needs help. So how can you fix this sentence? You have a few options. Comma splice fix at number one. Add a period. As you probably know, a period is used to separate complete sentences. A quick comma splice fix is to replace the comma with a period. Our example would then read as, The president loves ice cream sundaes. His favorite toppings are hot fudge and bananas. Easy peasy, the comma splice is fixed. Comma splice fix at number two. Add a conjunction. Another way to fix a comma splice is to add a conjunction which is a word that connects two related items, usually clauses and phrases, like and, or, but, and so. Place the conjunction after the comma to properly join the two phrases. The president loves ice cream sundaes, and his favorite toppings are hot fudge and bananas. In this example, the little comma has his friend the conjunction to help support the sentence, which as we know, consists of two independent clauses. Comma splice fix at number three. Add a semicolon. You can, of course, use the comma's fancy cousin, the semicolon, to fix a comma splice. It's strong enough on its own that it doesn't need a conjunction or anything else to help support it. To fix a comma splice with a semicolon, all you have to do is put it in the place of the comma. The president loves ice cream sundaes. His favorite toppings are hot fudge and bananas. Semicolons are best used when the two independent clauses are closely related, or build off of one another. In this sentence, we start by talking about ice cream sundaes and then build off of it by talking about specific toppings. Commas can do lots of things to help you with your writing, but not when it comes to connecting independent clauses. Use periods, conjunctions, or semicolons to ward off comma splices, and you'll be a grammar expert in no time.